Yo guys, what is up? This is Nick. We are back on The Witcher 3, uh, continuing the Blood and Wine DLC, and in this episode we're going to do Gwent, Never Fear, uh, Skellig is here, we're, that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. We're going to acquire all 19 cards, and then hopefully in the next episode we will be able to uh, do the Gwent tournament. I decided we would do it like this. Let's see here, this is just a bunch of garbage. Um... What is my... Okay, I'm not... I don't have, like, anything. Alright, Pierre. Sacre bleu. It's a crime. <laughs> You're from the north. That's painfully clear. Excuse me? There is no excuse. There is but the need to outfit you anew. My salon stands open. Please come in. All jests aside, let me see what you got in your wardrobe. I'm more than willing, sir. Alright, what does this dude have? Oh, this is like dress crap. I don't... I don't need this. What is this? Dye solution? Fur scrap? Elegant Belclair boots. He's got the masks here. Wolf mask. Bird mask. Harlequin mask. Um, let me pick up this elegant set. I have everything else, I think. So there's that. There we go. Alright. We need to play Gwent against him now. Bet my 50 bucks. In the mood for a round of Gwent? Let's see. Wait, what is the squ what is that squid? What's the skeleton? Two random cards from the graveyard are placed on the battlefield at the start of the third round. It's actually not half bad. Alright, but I've built this Northern Realms deck, so we we should probably play it. Um we got one spy. This is actually a really eh. I can say it's a really good hand, but it's not bad. If I don't draw a spy, it becomes a little bit worse, and I didn't, so. Okay, this hand's this hand should get interesting here. Okay, there's a spy. I'll get that in the next turn. Okay, he passed, which is fine. I'll take the win. There we go, nice. I'm gonna get double spies this round. Alright, nice. I got all my blue stripe commandos. Draw more cards. Wow, this actually is not a good draw. I can't double the strength of my stupid... Um... Blue Strike Commandos, but I should be fine. Go ahead and take those out. Just gonna get an idea of what he wants to play. I could let him take this round, but I don't think I'll need to. Save my Blue Strike Commandos for now, and we'll go with the hero cards. Hmm. Interesting. Now he's got some draw power. He did draw. Now we're a little bit closer in cards. Interested to see exactly how he plays. I'm just going to play my heroes and get to a sizable number, make him play. I might hold off after I play right here, bumping me up to 43. I think I'm gonna let him take this round. I'm gonna let him take it. Okay, he's gonna play another spy. That's fine because I can revive twice. Alright, so he's gonna bring back Dijkstra. Let him draw two more cards. Uh, I'm gonna start with Yen because then I can't get scorched off the bat here. I 
I didn't draw a decoy, really. Okay, time to play this. Give me a decoy. And again, no decoy. It's unreal. Alright, we gotta win this here, so let's get started. That doesn't really affect me, it's only four. And it's good that I actually got that Scorch out of his hand. This actually is going to be pretty close, because he's going to get the draw again. If he has a double strength, I actually maybe... Actually, no, I can just do that. This is... this might... eh. This won't be too bad. He's going to... He's going to get to draw two more. As long as he doesn't draw another Scorch, I should be fine. Alright, well this is bad actually. Because he's getting more and more cards. If he, draw a, if he drew a Scorch, I'm screwed. Like, it's over. If he drew a Scorch. Because I have to keep playing these. Why would you play that on the back row? Alright, well, it all comes down to if this last card's a Scorch. If it's a Scorch, I think he wins. Okay, he's gonna get another chance to draw a Scorch. Okay, no Scorch. And no Scorch. Alright, we're good, we won. A little dicier than most of the games I play with this deck. What card did we get from him? Young Berserker? How do I get out of this place? Oh, there's the door. I was like, where the heck is the door? Alright, let's head on over this way. Get our next card. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, what is that? 15 more went rounds doesn't take too long. Some of the, if I get the right draw, that draw wasn't the greatest. It actually worked out alright, but if I would have drawn some more decoys and some other stuff, uh, I actually would have probably beat him a whole heck of a lot quicker, but... Wait, where? Oh, down below. So, I assume I gotta go this over here. Actually, where the hell? Oh, here we go. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's like an underground tavern. All right, what do we got here? My prices are the best. Greetings and welcome, sir. Toussaint is home to the best wines in the world, and I've the best wines in Toussaint. Show me what you got. See if something catches my eye. Okay, so we know he's gonna have wine for sale. Anything else? Hmm. Different wines. Not too expensive. Got fruit and obviously all of that crap. Should we buy some of these wines, I guess? Let me just buy all your wines, dude. I've got so much money I don't even care. Like, I can just spend my money on anything. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and play them in Gwent. Get 50 bucks back at least. Care for a round of Gwent? Why don't they say anything? Why do they shake their head? Like, talk! Alright, here we go. Alright, not bad. Uh, let's ditch that. Alright, I'll take it. Not as good as some, uh, oh, this guy's actually playing the Skellige deck. Alright, that's good. The double decoy, that's nice, but there's not really anything for me to use a decoy on at this moment, so... Um, okay, triple decoys, that's horrible. Uh, but I can win this round. I got triple decoys this game, and when I couldn't get one last game when I needed it, alright, let's take this. I need to draw... Hmm. Well. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna try to bait him to play something, play out his hand. Um... 
All right, I'm just gonna pull this back real quick. And get him to waste some cards. Okay, he pulled those all out from his deck. Uh, let's play Day and the Lion out here. Now what? I'm gonna Scorch. Actually, eh. Yeah, let me Scorch. Just trying to waste time make him play more cards without me actually playing anything of any importance. Alright, let's play this. Alright, that's fine. Because I have the power to revive one. So let's go ahead and decoy him back and then I think I'll end my turn. I think, yeah, uh, I'm gonna play Triss and make him play one more card. The 7, I'll lose the next round, it's not too big of a deal. So I'm gonna do it just, okay, there you go, there's why, because now he had to play Hero. Alright, good, I think that was enough, that's enough of a waste. Um, actually, I could get him to waste... I'm gonna get him to waste one more card. Actually, I can get him to waste two more cards as I dick around here. Alright, that's GG. Actually, hold up. Can I win this? I can just win this right here. I think. If I didn't do the- I did the math right, I can easily win here. If I had to just double. 137. Let me let me do this. Let me see how. Oh, I didn't get the. Oh, because it shuffled it back into my deck. All right, that that makes sense. All right, so we got our hundred crowns. Got our Olaf card. All right now, where are we going? It's an exclamation point. It should be a quest up this here. Verse. Banquets the and wine. Art curator. Please disperse. The exhibition is closed! What's this about? Oh, Lapiota, give me strength. I can't bear this, please! I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Oh, wait! Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt of Rivia? I believe I have work for you. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument? The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? The statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Okay, I didn't exactly want to do this, but we'll go over this with this Here guy and then we'll do the quest later. Our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry. A giant among lovers. A poking, puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. Somebody stole the testicles off a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket, that is, thus. You must retrieve those stones. Got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it he and the architect Faramont planned and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Literally and metaphorically. He later made frequent use of them himself. Not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. 
Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must. As long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. It will all work out. It must. All right. We are not going to be doing this quest right now. We will come back to it later. Let's go back to our Gwent quest. Which looks like it's going to be a multi-part thing here because we only have five of the cards. And we're only, and we're like already halfway through this episode. So it's going to be a multi-episode thing doing Never Fear Skelligas here. But that's <sighs> alright. I'm not too... Not too upset. The more Gwent we get to... I like this. We get to play like 19... We get to play 19 rounds of Gwent. Like, I can't complain about that. Um, Let's go check out the armor here, here real quick. Prepare to witness wonders at the I... annual Schifelrick tourney. Oh, Is this an armor or blacksmith? But, I would love to get some new armor. Greetings. A witcher from the school of the wolf here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafarque. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Rather. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for Witcher armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough-hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No. I rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. Okay. Um. Let me just see what you got right now. What do you have on offer. You have anything cool right now? We'll obviously do that quest later on. Oh, he's got a lot of armor here. Toussaint Ducal guardsman armor. The one thing I wish you could do is preview these armors on yourself. Like, I don't know if they look like crap or if they look good. That's the one issue. I don't know what the hell some of this stuff looks like. But we'll get to that later. Actually, you know what? While we're here, let me sell some of the garbage that I've picked up that we obviously don't want. Um, We'll keep that sword, Dahlia. I can sell this crossbow. We can sell this Toussaint stuff, I think. It's not like it's any good to... Like, it's good, don't get me wrong, but I don't... It's it's the blue, so I, I, I'm assuming I'm going to find better crap eventually, so... I'll just go ahead and sell this stuff. Get it out of my inventory. And I think that's about it. Alright. Let's go ahead... Oops. Let's go ahead and repair our gear. While we're here, repair that. Ah, uh, look at my money. <laughs> 22,222. Alright, uh, he doesn't play Gwent. Okay. Farewell. Good luck on the path. They did not give me the quest. Okay, hold on. Let's talk to him and get the quest. You're back. So. Because I won't ever remember to come all back. All these here. diagrams somehow wound up in Tucson? How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sail, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. 
Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai inside. So I heard the stories of the missing witches first hand. What he told me... Well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school. Of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Aton. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe, yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Tucson from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at the Termas. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termas. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa, and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lone, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a Witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the ducal guard. A witcher from the school of the cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. 
Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tiensail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True. This one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it, though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. Farewell. Good luck on the path. Alright. We will obviously do the scavenger hunt, Grandmaster Wolven Gear, uh, but not at this particular moment. But I thought I needed to do I need to do those dialogues when they pop up so I don't have to write them down and like remember, oh I gotta come back to this guy was next to this oh it gave you a bunch of different quests okay that's nice it's not all part of the same quest i kind of like that more uh let's go Ooh, sorry excuse me uh let's go back to gwent where is it never fear skull is here well to from all corners of the world we will do two more um is it this guy Greetings. no it's not we will do a couple more gwent um, duels, and then we will go ahead and call it an episode and, Welcome, and finish good, this. Welcome, to Dupont and Son's Emporium of Diverse Merchandise. Satisfaction guaranteed. Okay, well. Show me what you got back there. We won't, I don't know if we'll finish it in the next episode. I will try to finish it in the next episode, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, you have, like, nothing to buy. Like, what is this? All right, let's win some more money. Instead of chatting, why not a quick game of Gwent? Some of these Gwent games are not quick. Anything better in all two cents. For as simple as Gwent is and all of that different stuff, there is a lot of strategy that goes into it. Except for the fact when you run this deck, there isn't a whole lot of strategy, to be honest, but... Hmm. I'm actually going to ditch Triss and then... Okay. Well, Yen is the better card, so I guess I'll take it. And nice, I drew another drew, drew another spy. Can I keep the drawing of spies going? Give me another one. Ah. Oh, he's gonna play this though, and I do have a decoy, which is beautiful. So he got an oh, he passed. Interesting play. Very interesting. This hand is also very interesting. Um, I'm gonna play it like this. I'm gonna scorch, scorch that, and I'm gonna play Dandelion. There we go. Take it this way, because I do have the power to revive with the end, so I can bring Dandelion back. I also have the Commander's Horn anyway, so it's not even like a big deal. Now it gets interesting. I think I'm just going to go for the win here. It's a little bit risky, but I'm just going to go for it anyway. Why not? 
Okay, maybe I need to, maybe I should uh, let this go after that, but I'm not going to. I think I can still win. That's fine, that actually is good, I want him to play stuff like that. Because then I can waste, I can stall a turn by getting rid of weather effects. There, play Dandelion. I should probably use my Scorch card, in all honesty. Yeah, let's go ahead and use my... Eh, I'll use it. There's a fine line where you want to wait with your Scorch card to get the most damage out of it, but then there's also that point where you want to... See, I played it too early, but there's also that point where you don't want to waste it, I guess is what I'm trying to say, but... Go ahead and play a Commander's Horn up there for the heck of it. There we go. Okay, I'm not gonna clear... Actually, I can clear the weather effects. I gotta stall as long as I can with my Blue Strike Commandos. Okay, three more cards for him. I've got just Blue Stripes left, so... Now it gets interesting. It all comes down to if he has a Scorch card left. If he's got a Scorch card, he may have me. There it is. There's the Scorch. That's fine that he played it there. Because I still got more in my hand. Alright, yeah, we got this. Might as well just play this last one. Alright, still undefeated in Gwen so far in the DLC. Under Crowns. Alright, let's go play one more round of Gwen. We got Clan de Moon Pirate. Alright, so let's head over here. Ark Beauclerois, her most gracious duchess, has hired a witcher to get at the root of these murders. Every... Alright, so we've got an herbalist. You do not trample any herbs. Welcome. Herbs freshly picked, dried, powdered. Whatsoever your heart desires. Let me see what you got. She have vermilion? I do need that uh, to craft an item. These runes? No, these are actually manuscript formulas. I might want to buy those. This should be... Yeah, these are decoctions. That's interesting. Do you have vermilion? I don't even know what vermilion looks like. I just know I need one. One wart. Alright. Let's just go ahead and play some Gwent. Wager our 50 Herbs, bucks. Schmerbs. But how about some Gwent, eh? Alright, what hand did I get? Alright, we got two spies. Alright, this hand's an interesting hand. Um, hmm. Let me ditch Triss. I'm actually going to ditch, I think, a hero card, as stupid as it sounds. Because if I ditch this blue stripe commando, I bet i just draw another one. No, I didn't. I drew a Scorch. Alright, let's pull, let's start with this. Really? Really? Two Scorch cards? It's like the worst thing to get with this deck is two Scorch cards. Okay, the decoys are real. This is actually a pretty crappy hand. Wow, this hand is some garbage. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to win with this hand. I, pro I will. Actually, I think I can. But this hand is some straight trash. I think I can. I'll try to win it here. I don't know if I will. But... Those decoys aren't going to do me any good. Um, let me actually just score straight off the bat here. Since I have two. Alright, there's Yen. I do have a decoy, so that's good. So I can also draw two to make my hand better. That actually probably helps me out more than it does him, in all honesty. Uh, yeah. Not the greatest draw, but 
Not bad. What's in my graveyard? Oh, my graveyard. I just have a Crinford Reaver in my... Ah, this hand is really not... This hand's pretty bad. I guess I'll bring the Crinford Reaver back. Give her some give her something to scorch if she wants to waste it. Alright, you can kill Dandelion. I don't have anything up front anyway. Hey, that's pointless. If I was her, I would have waited to play that. This is getting a little dicey here. This is getting a lot dicey. Um, be 16. That'd be 232s here. Um, so we're getting dicey out here. It's getting it's getting close. Um, I'm just gonna play this just to get it out there. There's a scorch. All right, I'll take it. Now I'm gonna play this. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that, uh, but I don't know if, if she doesn't have a Scorch, then it was a fine play. If she does, that was a really bad play. Well, that's not good. What's the last card? Okay, it's not a Scorch. Good. Alright, I won. I'll go ahead and play these, because why not? their strength. 131. I like average of 100 round per go here. Oh, uh, let me just end. Alright, what card did you give me? Be careful you do not trample any hubs. Mardrome. Mardrum. Alrighty, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode, though. At the annual Shipperick tourney. Surfing as patron this year, Lady Vivienne de Tabri. That's gonna do it for this episode, though. This dude is loud as shit. That's gonna do it for this episode, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all in the next one. Uh, we'll finish up this quest, and then we'll move on to some action instead of just some Gwent. But I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.